Hey everyone, Nate here from Soda City Boards again. I haven't been doing any tutorials or anything lately with my X tool, as I have since upgraded to a new CO2 laser and a fiber laser. And today I was going to show off the fiber laser, which is behind me. And today I was going to do a little video showing you how some of the stuff that I can engrave on the fiber laser and just share what I've been doing and new products that I've been making since getting the fiber laser and the CO2. So first, I'm going to do a little video, I'm going to do a time lapse video of a license plate that I'm engraving, which I've been selling a ton of these now that I have the fiber laser because they're super easy and quick to do on here. And then my other main selling thing right now are the minimalist wallets, which take about anywhere from 30 seconds to about a minute and a half depending on the design of the fiber laser. So it's really speeding up production and making me capable of doing some new products. So first thing, I'm going to get this set up here and then I'm going to check my height for the distance for the focal length which I have it lined up already from doing a license plate before and then as you can see the little red box is going all around crazy right here that's the outline that I already have in Lightburn for lining it up for when I'm about to engrave it so you can see that I need to move it down a couple inches and stuff so you can see from the box that I need to move it down a little to get it centered. And then now you can see that it's centered in there. That's about the size of the logo that I want to do. And now I'm going to take you over to view the light burn screen since I'm using light burn with this. So as you can see here, I'm using light burn just like I did with my X tool. And I also use that with the new OM Tech CO2 I got. Um, I already have my settings found from doing multiple different sets of tests to find the best engraving settings. So over here you can see the speed and power that I'm using. Um, with the fiber, the intervals are completely different for me. Uh, some of them I run at a higher interval, some of them I run at like 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. And then you'll also see a difference with the Q pulse and frequency down here, which I have started playing with to try to understand what they do and understanding what the different things are that they are capable of helping you with when you're doing engraving. So I found the best settings for this as well. So next up is I'm going to engrave this and do a little time lapse video for you guys to see and view the outcome of. So I got it all done. I engraved my logo on one to put on my car. Um, and then I clean it off with some LA's Totally Awesome. And this is the finished product. Pretty easy. They finish up in about two, three minutes if it's not a very intricate and big design. Um, I've been doing about 20 to 30 of these a week on the laser and selling them. So it's a nice item to try to sell. Um, I would highly recommend making them if you could. Um, other than that, I'll be making some other videos just to show off some other products I started making. And if I get requests for specific items or tests, I can also do that and try to play with it and do some tests on items for you and figure out settings and whatnot like that.